Hey everyone, it's your girl Cosmic Soul Wonderland and Halloween is right around the corner. If you need some Halloween inspiration, some costume ideas, then stay tuned because here are a ton of different looks I created, different costumes I wore throughout the month that could help you put together what you want to be. For Halloween this year and next year and the year after that there's a lot of costumes let's go please follow me on TikTok if you're not already I post amazing content on there and this first costume is inspired by the yarn story mr. Mathis I uploaded that was spooky and it got me inspired to create a killer student or like a murderous student costume so this is it I do all of my own makeup and I had a lot of fun creating this look. Please, I already know, I added a little bit too much purple, but the bruising still turned out really good. I loved creating this look and I hope I'm giving you guys some ideas of what you should be for Halloween. This year, next year, every year, there's plenty of costumes to choose from, but if you're anything like me, I have already done seven costumes this year and Halloween hasn't even arrived yet. Oh yeah, that was badass. Okay. Oh, probably shouldn't cuss. Oh, well, I'm not monetized anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Spooky. I'm getting into character. I love making TikToks. And this costume here is like a Harajuku-styled gothic Barbie doll. I love horror movies. I love anything spooky and scary, as you can tell. Definitely inspired by the horror genre this Halloween. This next look coming up was inspired by the spider web makeup look, the cut crease eyeshadow that I have seen on Instagram. I did my own spin. I used candy corn colored eyeshadows and I went ahead and paired it with my cage skirt and my spider web top. Yes, you guys see a lot of these boots and my fishnets. I just love the look. It's so spooky and Halloween vibes and I just am feeling completely inspired. If you guys have seen any of the looks that you like, go ahead, feel free to copy me, pull inspiration from me. That's the whole reason I did all of these costumes this year is because I wanted to give you guys a lot of ideas and I have plenty more coming. So you'll get to see more looks coming up really soon. Just like I said, I do my own makeup. This one was very, very difficult to do. I was nervous putting on the spider webs because I knew if I messed up, oh my gosh, there was no turning back. But I killed it. I love it. This turned out so good. I love my eyes. They are one of my favorite features and I'm really glad I wear contacts now. I'm not wearing them in this clip, but I do wear contacts now and that's great because I want you guys to be able to see my eyes. I don't want to hide behind glasses anymore. Like, could you imagine me putting glasses on top of this eye look? Like, oh, why hide it? Flaunt it. Get your spook on and let it shine. Here is me deconstructing this look, taking myself to my natural beauty on TikTok. Again, please follow me. You guys have no idea how much fun TikTok is, how spooky it can get, and how creative I am on there. Don't miss out. 
this look here is a spin on Alice in Wonderland, the rabbit. Time, time, who's got the time? This is the outfit I chose to wear on October 18th when I turned 25. This was my birthday look, and I love it to death. It looks so good. You guys know I made this headpiece. I DIY'd it. There is a video, and it turned out so good. I went ahead and pulled it back out for Halloween because why not? I got my little tutu. I got this tutu maybe like two years ago and I got it for a showcase I was in. I was a unicorn, but I decided to pull it out and use it in this costume this year. Hold on to pieces, girls, because you never know when you can use them in a different way next time. This is my skull mask look. I am a killer skeleton right now, looking amazing. And this dress I got off Dolls Kill. I've done a unboxing video months ago of it. And it's actually part of my Miss Goth USA costume, which I will be wearing on October 31st for Halloween. But I needed to post this video before Halloween, so there will be another costume video put up after Halloween to show that costume there. But I went ahead and used this dress because I was feeling it, and I look amazing. This look turned out so good. I'm killing it, I'm loving it, and I cannot wait for Halloween, you guys. The last look of this video, to give you guys one last idea, is this broken porcelain doll. I painted on the knee joints, however, I mean there's going to be a makeup video of me creating this look coming up soon, however I forgot to record myself putting on the knees because I did it during Dr. Phil. Yes, I freaking love Dr. Phil and I forgot to film myself putting these on, but all I did was use black liquid eyeliner to do the dark part of the circle and then I just faded it in with black eyeshadow really easy to do and I love this I am a doll right now this is my costume one doll that has not been played with nicely and she's gonna strike back with a vengeance you just wait whatever you plan on dressing up as for Halloween I hope you have an amazing time and that your Halloween is as spooky as you want it to be Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fantabulous. Get your spook on. Enjoy Halloween, but stay safe. Stay fantabulous, and as always, I will stay fantabulous for you guys. Bye.